Cyril Gaon versus Tatui Vasa takes place this weekend in the main event of UFC Fight Night Paris. Gaon versus Tui Vasa, and I cannot wait for this heavyweight fight. And this is truly a great fight. Not really a title elimination belt for either of them. I mean, if anyone's going to get a title shot here with the win here, it's probably going to be Tai Tuivasa because he's on a big winning streak right now. Looking very good. Um, just knocked out Derek Lewis. But I do believe if he does win this one against Cyril Gaon, he's not going to be getting the title shot because there is Curtis Blades existed. But maybe because Tuivasa beat Lewis and Blades lost to Lewis. So that might be the discussion there. But... I don't see that. I don't see Tui Vasa even fighting for the title. I don't even see him winning this fight. I think he'll get completely outclassed and picked apart here by Cyril Gaon. And that do means I will go with Cyril Gaon here. Jabbing up the face of Tui Vasa. Leg kicking him a few times. <clears throat> and jabbing his face. And having a swollen eye shut. At the end of round three, Dr. Stoppage. Cyril Gaon gets the job done. But I just think Cyril Gaon's got this. If I'm honest with you. I really do. I really do believe he's got this one. Of course, Cyril Gaon lost to Francis Ngannou, but... Um, let me get to it. Did he really lose to Francis? Did he really lose to Francis Ngannou? Ngannou had a wrestle. For, first off, Ngannou couldn't do his freaking specialty in knocking people out. But he had a wrestle. Completely different fighter. But did he really win the fight against Cyril Gaon? Did he really? I don't think he did. I think he could have lost the fight, if I'm honest with you. Um, at first, when I watched it live, I was like, you know what? Ngannou won the fight. Good for him. He came back last three rounds. Showed good heart. Good good for Ngannou. But then we watched the fifth round because people were like, Ngannou won the fifth. Ngannou won the fifth. I mean, some Ngannou fans out there are like, Ngannou won. Um, but Ngannou won that fifth round. According to the rules, like... He won the fifth round against Francis Ngannou. And... <clears throat> I think he won the first two clear. First off, I think he won the first two clear. And the fifth round clear. Because he got... First off, he took... He was just out striking Ngannou's feet. Took down Ngannou, first off. He took down Ngannou. He started it. And then went for the heel hook. That's three. Striking Ngannou on the feet. Taking down Ngannou. Went for the heel hook. Dumb from gone. He made a mistake with that dumb heel hook. He could be the champion right now if he didn't go for that. And then Ngannou went on top. Gone clearly wins that fight. But he's back. He, he, he lost the fight on paper. He's back down. Lost his O as well. Against Tai Tuivasa. And I do believe he'll easily beat Tai. Tai's got a chance. He's got a solid chance of going out there and just winning. He has a solid chance of out there, going out there, and just KOing Cyril Gaon. But Gaon, he's shown a good chin in his career. He's shown a good chin. Like, Lewis caught him a few shots here and there. And Gaon, he caught him a few shots here and there. I don't think he's ever been hit clean, because dude moves like a bantamweight out there as a heavyweight. Volkov caught him with shots, but Volkov it kind of is like glancing off. Here and there. Rosenstruck couldn't really catch him, but Rosenstruck's kind of counter puncher, so you kind of easily got that. Dos Santos couldn't catch him as much. Um, but yeah. I really, do, I really do believe he's going to go out there and beat Tai to Ivasa. <sighs> By Dr. Stoppage, Swole and I win, I think. Um, I think Tai's good. He could do good with the leg kicks here, but again. He beat Derek Lewis. That was a great win. But this is where the skill is going to come into it. Because even if he wins this one, you know, he just needs to get past it's gone here. Because when he gets, when he wins this one, he can look at Miocic, who he can probably KO. Jones is a tough fight for him, but again, he could KO Jones, chop the legs of Jones. You can do that. Maybe wrestle Jones, but I doubt he'll do that, and I doubt it will work as well. So, and maybe he can fight Ngannou. I don't think Ngannou could. I don't think Ngannou would out wrestle him. And Tuivasa showed a good chin against Gon. Against not Gon. He didn't fight Gon yet. He showed a good chin against Lewis. But he caught Lewis a bunch of times. Like yeah, he beat Sakai, but Sakai, where is he now? 
Where is Augusto Sakai? Augusto Sakai. Just lost to Sergei Spivak. You know? I think he's out of the rankings now, if I'm honest with you. Um, Craig Hardy. Like, these wins aren't looking good. Like, even Lewis, he just lost to Sergei Pavlovich. Not at the level of Tuivasa. Tuivasa did it way better than, uh, than Pavlovich. But, um, he still got whooped up in the first round to Sergei Pavlovich. Whether you think it was a bad stoppage or not. Got whooped up early. You know? Harry Hunsucker. Where's he? Just lost to Tyson Pedro. Where's Stefan Struve? These wins aren't aging well. Andre Arlovsky's is only best aging win. And even then, Arlovsky lost his last fight, arguably, to Jake Collier. I just don't see him beating Cyril Gaon, man. I really don't. Gaon, I think, is way too good for him. Like, Jan, he's 32 years old. Alright? He's 32. He's good, man. He's good. Like, yeah, he, he whooped up Lewis the whole time. I don't see him... Okay. I don't see... Gon chew up the legs of Tuivasa, because I think Tuivasa will go at them first, go at Gon's legs first. But I don't even think he'll touch the legs. Like, I think he'll land some a few leg kicks, Gon will feel it, but then move out of the way of them. He's quick, man. He's quick. You know? He's very quick. And Gon will jab up to Ivasa. Yeah, to Ivasa has a good clinch game. I forgot to say that yesterday in the full car predictions. Yes, he does have a good clinch game. But Gon will separate. And elbows. He needs to cut open to Ivasa. And I think it'll be all over there from to Ivasa, man. Like, I think to Ivasa is better than Rosenstrike. We can agree. We can maybe agree with that now. He could be better than Rosenstrike. I just don't see him getting this, man. I really hope he does. Because I just want to see the shoey again. I want to see this. I want to see. I feel like I'm about to sneeze right now. One second. We're good. Um. But, yeah. I I just really want Ty to win. I want him to do a shoey. I want him to do it in Paris on the... Above the corpse of Sir Logan, out cold. And yeah, went over the Paris crowd. I just don't see it happening, man. I think this is a terrible fight for him. Not a good one for him, man. Like, yeah, he could win. Yeah, he can pull that KO. Like, we didn't. You can maybe say, oh, yeah, but you didn't expect him. You didn't expect him to KO Lewis. So. Why wouldn't you? You never know with him versus Gon, but Gon's different than Lewis, man. Even in their own fight, just completely outskilled Lewis, outclassed him, made him basically quit. All right, Gon is way faster than Lewis, and Gon, like Tui also again. Okay, I'll make this example. I've been saying this fight during fight week. I'm um, not fight week. It's fight week. It's starting to begin now, but from the build up. I've been saying, okay, if Tuivasa fights Aspinall, he has more of a chance against Aspinall than Gon. Because Aspinall can get clipped here and there, he can get caught here and there on the feet. He's a bit clumsy here and there. Not clumsy, but he's slick on the feet himself. But defensive, in his defense area, it's a bit eh. And Tuivasa has a chance to make KO him, but Gon, 100% good there. 100% good in his offense. Grappling's an issue, but I think he'll focus on working on that. Because I don't see... Listen, I don't see Tuivasa out grappling him. He said he was going to grapple against Lewis. Ended up uh, ended up striking with Lewis. And guess what? Yeah, he, he, he and it did work out for him. But it ain't going to work out here against Gon. Gon's too good, I think, man. And Gon, who can do crap for the first two rounds. And now that those first two rounds were the only chance in Gon, who kind of has to win in the striking. Yeah, he won the last three. Three. All right. Yeah, he won the last three, but did he really? Gone won the fight. But, he, yeah, on paper, he won the last three rounds. But with his wrestling. I think Tweevoss is going to slow down. And I don't even mind Gone out wrestling him, but I think Tweevoss will be good there. I think he's improved massively in that department. And, yeah. You got to take, you got to take Gone, I think, in this one. Yeah. And, yeah, Sergey Spivak outclassed him. I know this is a new Stefan. I know this is not a, a new Patrick Vasa, but 
I just don't see him winning this, man. I really don't. It sucks to say, man. But I really want him to go. I'm making a prayer later this week. I don't care. Hopefully he wins. Hopefully it works. I think Tui Vasa gets this. Uh, no, I don't think he'll win. I don't think Tui Vasa will get this, but I hope he gets it. But gone. He's too good gone. Like, yeah, he beat Sakai. Even against Sakai early on in the fight. In the first round. Trouble. You know? Like, he got clipped here and there by Sakai. You know? And Sakai... Ty was chewing up the leg. Ty, Sakai was kind of checking them. You know? Like, yeah, he eventually got KO'd against the cage. Big shots. But, man... The first round can go either way. I know it was a patient, low-paced first round, but still. Ain't a good sign. And Craig Hardy caught him with a good punch, you know? I just think Gon's got this one. Gon is big as well for the division. Like, I think he'll be towering Ty at the wins. How tall's Ty? Not towering, but you know what I mean. I think you Yeah, the odds are crazy, though, man. Gon should be at least, like, a... A four to one favorite at best, not a freaking five minus five fifty favorite. Freaking hell. Tuivasa will lose. Gone gets it done. Wins the first two rounds. Tuivasa is gonna be too slow in there. I think. Yeah, I got Cyril gone. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is a prediction and breakdown of Cyril gone versus Ty Tuivasa. Yeah. Whitaker Vittori prediction coming out tomorrow. And Gon, he should be the champ. This should be like... this. Actually, before I go, this card should be a... UC Paris should be a freaking pay-per-view. Cyril Gon defending his belt in the main event against Ty Tuivasa, giving him a shot. And uh, Robert Whitaker defending his title because he beat Arsania 3-2, according to the rules. He used to gain a layup in Marvin Vittori and just getting a free title defense win. Vittori doesn't deserve the shot. I don't know why he's getting the shot, but Whitaker will defend his title. Should be a title fight. God champ, Whitaker champ, Tui Boss challenger, Vittori challenger. If you know what I mean.